Remember Rosie from the Jetsons? Well, she's one small step closer to becoming reality. Robot scientists in the U.S. and abroad are racing each other to create personal robots, an industry worth a potential $15 billion by 2015. But they're not going about it the way you might think. Bloomberg's Sheila Damarajan went to Virginia Tech to meet Charlie and Darwin, a pair of robot soccer stars. Hey, Charlie. I'm Sheila. Hi, Sheila. Nice meeting you. Today, I'm meeting robot celebrities. Charlie and his smaller counterpart, Darwin, just won the Robot World Cup in Istanbul. It was a first for the USA. Yeah! The Louis Vuitton Cup trophy, uh, Japan had it for seven years. And this is the very first time we're taking it to the United States. So also, I think it also shows a shift in the robotic superpowers in the world. And now it's coming to the United States. Dennis Hong is the robot Good professor at Virginia Tech. Good morning. And creator of Charlie. Have you always been a robot geek? Oh, absolutely. Uh, when I was seven years old, I watched the movie Star Wars, and it just completely blew my mind. Don't get technical with me. On my way back home from the movie theater, I decided to become a robot scientist. Hong started out with a very basic version of Darwin back in 2004. This one showed us that it can be done. Darwin 1 is the very first one that actually had intelligence built into it and actually walked and stood up. Now I heard this one's quite the musician. Oh, yes. He conducted the Rodolf Symphony Orchestra. When I look at the latest version of Darwin, yes. it looks a little more human, right? It has a face, it <laughs> has cute. two eyes. Yes. I mean, yeah, it's adorable. Yep. Was that done on purpose? Uh, yes, like many times, you know, people look at these more metallic machines. Right. You know, they get scared. I blame sci-fi movies for Terminator. I also blame sci-fi for raising people's expectations too high. When they see our robots, they say, oh, that's cool but doesn't it run, doesn't it jump, and doesn't it do all the dishes? It's true, the newest Darwins don't jump, but they got a mean kick, so I challenged them to a match. <laughs> if you want a game with Darwin, you can get the blueprints and build them for free because Hong shares his secrets online. This is like a crowdsourcing. Everybody contributes, and that way, we can push the envelope and develop technology much quicker, faster. But a Korean company has even started selling their own pre-assembled Darwins for $12,000. I mean, that's a very nice gift, and you're not seeing a dime of it. Uh, we work with them very, very closely, and my future business plan is also involved with the company, so I'll just put it that way. He's not giving away any more secrets, but Hong's plans here at Virginia Tech include building taller and more human-like robots. So let's talk about the mechanics of Charlie. Sure. Is this his brain, basically? No, interestingly, his brain is actually in his chest. In the head, it has a camera. It's like the eyes, it looks around and actually understands and recognizes objects. Now, power is a big thing for the robots. Where is Charlie's power source? There's two battery packs over here. These basically uh, power the lower limb, the left leg and the right leg. This is just plain old plastic? Plain, Sorry, uh, Charlie, yes. I didn't mean to hit you. <laughs> <laughs> One of the key design goals of Charlie is to make it lightweight for I safety reasons as well. I mean, he's not that heavy. Well. Like, if I yeah, you can actually lift it up, can, like... yeah. Now, all he needs is some hair. Yes. <laughs> well, how far do you think we actually are away from having a Rosie in our house, yep. where a robot yep. can help you with laundry, cook your meal for you. That is actually the ultimate goal, personal goal of uh, you know robotics technology. Difficult to put a date on it, but uh, hopefully in the next 20 years we'll have something useful. So Charlie, you're cute, but you have a ways to go before you're coming home. Charlie, are you going to be able to dance with me one day? You know, you're kind of fast. <laughs> Within the next 35 years, Hong says Charlie will be able to play a game against the Human World Cup champions and win. I say good luck, Charlie, but I still think we'll be bringing home the World Cup. Thanks.